Hello and welcome to this Garacon training presentation on console cables and console connectors. Okay, let's start off by having a look at the uh, standard null modem connector. If I open up our web browser, we have uh, the IP camera running and we can see we have a standard null modem, also called a serial crossover cable, which has two DB9 connectors, one at each end. Now, this type of cable is used to connect to a DB9 console port. Okay, this is the front of a 6K8 switch. You can see here, this is the console port, labeled up nicely for us, and this is a DB9 connector here. Now, the serial crossover cable, the null modem cable, will be an ideal choice to connect to this type of connector, console connector. The other type of connector we have is the uh, Cisco style of connection, where you have the standard DB9 connection at one end, and you have the RJ45 connection at the other. And it, these, take, these cables tend to be flat. Uh, this is uh, also known as a, a crossover cable, uh, forgive me, a, a rollover cable, uh, a serial crossover cable. But uh, this, this particular style has the DB9 at one end and the RJ45 style connector at the other. Okay, so this type of uh, this type of console cable will be used to connect to the RJ45 style console connector, which we have on the front of this um, uh, newer 6KL switch. Um, so we have the RJ45 style, and the that type of connection goes in there like that. And here we have down below we have the DB9 style, which is not the camera there, and we just connect it into the front like uh, so. So the DB9 has the benefit of having these screw clips at the side which enables a more secure connection. However the uh, the RJ45 one is, is pretty secure. Okay. Okay, the next thing to talk about is basically uh, a problem we have with modern laptops and computers. Modern computers don't tend to have um, serial ports on them. If I show you the side of this uh, laptop I'm using here, so um, if we just alter the camera position slightly, so we can see we have a, a VGA connector for monitors, we have the LAN connector which is going to this uh, to a switch and then to this IP camera. We have a HDMI connection and then we have a USB connection here. Uh, we have some more USBs on the other side and we have a power. But you notice we don't have a serial style connector. So how do we connect a serial style connection of this end? I mean both styles of console cables have the serial connector, the DB9 at both one end. So how do we connect that to a laptop? Okay, so this is what we need to use to allow that to happen. This is called a USB to serial converter. And USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. It's the newer form of serial communication and uh, the console cables are just serial cables this is just a newer, star, um, newer style of connector so basically there's the DB9 connection at one end and your USB connection at the other so what we need to do bear with me one second is we take the standard DB9 connection plug it into one end of the USB serial converter Bob's your uncle, like so and then we take the other USB port, USB connection rather, and plug that into the USB port on the side, any USB port on the side of the laptop. Obviously if you do have a laptop which does have a serial cable uh, connection on there, you can plug the standard connection straight in there, you wouldn't need to use the converter. Okay, so just to recap, we've got the USB to serial uh, converter and cable connected to my USB port. Now uh, your computer, this, this final section is more of a, a, a useful uh, hints and tips more than anything else. So what happens is when you connect a USB port uh, to your laptop or your computer, your computer will use a COM port, a communications port, and these are typically numbered from 1 all the way up to 10, 12, whatever. The problem with using a USB to serial converter is that um, the COM port that you get given is dynamically assigned. Now some uh, terminal emulator programs like PuTTY require you to enter 
the COM port you want to use. So I'll just quickly show you how to find that out. So I'll just close down the uh, web camera. I'm just going to click on Start, and that brings up the, the Start menu. Uh, you can see here Computer. Now, in some versions of Windows, this is listed as My Computer, but it's the same. If you right-click on the mouse and go to Manage, what it does is it opens up a, uh, a, a window where you can manage various aspects of your computer, things like the hard drive and the system performance. Uh, in here, we're looking on this menu here, we're looking for something called the Device Manager. Now you can actually get here via different ways, but this seems to be the most standard way across different versions of Windows. And in the list here we have ports, COM and LPT. If you just expand that out, it will tell you here exactly which COM port you're using. So you now know exactly how to get there. So just to recap, nice and simple, start, computer, manage, right click on computer, go to manage, when the menu comes up, move that across so you can see, double click on device manager and here we have go down the list and we can see ports, USB to serial converter and the final thing to note is that some of these USB to serial converters will require a device driver so uh, this particular one, let's pause the video okay so this particular USB to serial converter needs a device driver and that one here is a prolific uh, device driver. I searched the internet, you can you can find that one for this particular model. Uh, typically, when you buy them, they'll come with the drivers you need to install them. And that completes this uh, short video on console cables, connections, USB to serial converters, and uh, any Windows setup related to those features. Okay, I hope this has been interesting. I hope it's been helpful. And on behalf of uh, Garrettcom, I'd like to thank you for your time. Goodbye.